In Ephesians 5, Paul speaks of submitting to one another out of the fear of Christ, Ephesians 5.21. And when Paul speaks of this, submitting to one another in the fear of Christ, he is speaking of the need to defer to one another, the need to put the interests of another person higher than the interests of myself. In some ways, this follows the example of Christ himself in Philippians 2, when he talks about Christ emptying himself by taking the form of a servant. Uh, he calls us to be servants as well, servants to one another, inverting the power pyramid so that we serve one another as the example of Christ himself. When we come to 522, then Paul says, wives, submit to your husbands. Well, of course, this is part of it. In some ways, husbands are submitting to their wives by putting them at a higher priority than their own lives and taking care of them own, their own selves in this way. But he's also talking about a particular kind of role relationship that takes place where, as he will say with headship, that there is some kind of role relationship that distinguishes men and women in the house and talks about different roles in here. And this is where we have to be ever so careful because we cannot allow culture to define what these role distinctions are. We have to look at scripture. And what I would say at this point is that scripture is subversive on this. Scripture uh, is countercultural to the core. Paul is not looking to Roman era uh, relationships of husbands and wives and upholding the Roman standards. Rather, he's predicating this on the nature of the relationship of Christ to the church and saying, we've got a different model that we look at, and it's very different than you might think based upon cultural expectations. But there are role distinctions, there are order distinctions that he makes.